We're back with a, a fairly dirty car. It's my car. It's not filthy. We're just out of winter. Um, the car was driven a little bit in bad weather. I mean, it's not caked with snow, but it's dirtier. It's dirtier than the way I would leave my car. But you've seen that the back end of the car is fairly dirty. So now again, people using the 120 voltage, 125 machine are still cleaning cars and having a fairly easy time with it. We're gonna use the 155 machine available in 240 voltage only. And we're gonna show you the performance, not only of the steam, how it holds pressure, the injection, and how fast we can make quick work of this. So using the machine is no different than if you're using a 100 machine or the 125 machine. We still wanna blow out the cracks and crevices we have some dirt in some of these cracks and crevices in here. We want to blow that out. And then we use the injection feature to kind of, you know, with the optimum no rinse in our injection tank to get the back end of the car clean. So to start, as I need to. Now we have another camera trained on the pressure gauge. So at the same time you can see what the pressure is doing and how it's recovering as I stop. So I blew out the cracks and crevices uh, with the dirt and salt. Now I think I want to go to injection and let's see how wet and my injection is set at a very low volume. I don't want to hose the injection on because it's actually going to make too much of a mess. But you can see with just a little bit of the optimum no rinse coming through the injection hose and combined with high pressure steam staying at a good high pressure we should make pretty good work of this. This is our injection. So our pump is going to come on. And this is our no rinse coming through. I'm going to go back to steam. pretty wet but the wetness is not a bad thing because the car is so dirty so we don't really want to dry wash the car we wanted there to be a decent amount of wetness and that's what the injection feature not even at full flow We come back with a drying towel. And the car is clean. And the cracks and crevices look good. There's no residual salt or dirt in there. So we can actually call that clean and move on to the next panel with plenty of steam to spare. We're not really dropping a lot of steam pressure. We're not dropping a lot of steam volume. So we have plenty to work with and we can move on to the next panel.